We have been duped. This is really some story of American business ingenuity using science, using the might of thick tobacco to turn our foods into another addictive drug. Some of the biggest producers of processed foods were known as big tobacco. In 1985, R.J. Reynolds acquired Nabisco for $4.9 billion, and Philip Morris acquired General Foods in a $5.75 billion deal. Philip Morris added Kraft to its portfolio in 1988. By the time big tobacco began acquiring food companies, they had decades of experience studying and optimizing the speed with which their products delivered nicotine to the brain. They continued to harness that science in their food products. Is it not extremely frustrating that so many solvable problems in our society stem from the fact that solving that problem would necessarily disrupt a very profitable financial scheme?